Hello everyone, what do we have here? Well, we have from Leg Legacy Sports, a Citadel Warhawk. Yep, I picked this up at uh, Dunkelberger's in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. And yeah, I've heard all the, the rumors and the issues. I've even seen some YouTube videos as well where guys were having issues of its stove piping and failure to feed and so forth and I think a lot of that could be corrected and I've always liked tinkering with guns I've been doing it since I was young taking old guns and restoring them and putting them back into service I don't call myself a gunsmith I'm just an enthusiast and a hobbyist who just likes working on things and one of the issues that was surrounding the failure to feed, I think, was the cheesy plastic that uh, the Citadel shotgun uses. Hold on. Should have brought my stand here so you can see it better. But that's plastic, and that's chunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an improvement on that. And from NDZ, I'm going to put this, this puppy in. This is CNC machined aluminum, and this is from uh, NDZ. I got this, believe it or not, on eBay through their uh, NDZ store, and uh, that's the part number. So you can always visit their website or their eBay store and you can pick one up. And uh, it came with a with the chokes and the choke key and there's already one choke on it already, which let's take that off. Yeah, I'm pretty strong. Sometimes I don't need a key. Get your cylinder choke. You got your full your full choke. And it came with a modified choke. And let's put this to the side. Now, one thing Legacy Sports always says is that you need at least 1,300 foot-pounds per second ammo to, for it to function properly. But I've seen some people get away with using uh, 1,200 FPS and 1,100 FPS without any issues. I think a lot of it is just simply attributed to the uh the mag tube follower getting stuck in the tube and it's plastic it's junk another issue i've been hearing was the uh the charging handle here having a tendency to break so i'm going to be talking to some people about having a steel one machined for me have it cnc machine pull this one out to use this as a template make some improvements on it and it came with this uh piece here and, uh, you know, I think this is when it was being shipped just to protect it, but actually it helps when you're, if you don't have gloves and you're charging the thing so you don't really, it doesn't bite into your fingers. But I want to make a completely metal one, which would have something like this in metal, you know, rounded off, you know, polished, you know, for those quick tactical, uh, Loading, you know. Now, I don't know why uh, there's no aftermarket stuff for this. I mean, you know, it's, I tell you, 
there's a, there's a market for this stuff. Another thing I want to do is I want to extend the capacity. This is only a uh, four plus one, which I think is ridiculous. It should be at least a five plus one. I don't understand why they made it a four plus one. That's kind of dumb. And uh, I mean, they got real estate here. They could have added a little bit more capacity here, but I don't know, go figure. Uh, one thing I did add, I put a dovetail uh, Picatinny here. This came from a uh, crossbow and it fit perfectly. I did a little uh, milling with the file so it had more bite to grip. <coughs> I picked this up on eBay a while back. I had it in, in the drawer and uh, when I bought this I said, hey, let me give it a try with this and it fit perfectly. I even picked this thing up from, from eBay. I don't know, did I get this on eBay or a gun show? I don't even remember. I got this a while back. I might have gotten this in a gun show. I don't think I got this on eBay, but you, I wouldn't be surprised if you find it on eBay. And, uh, you know, you, you know, I could just slap it there, add some more accessories, you know. <laughs> Want to go with the tactic cool, whatever. Or, or put a camera, lights, whatever. You know, if I can get a uh, an extended magazine, I'll I'll put it I'll put a provision here for so I can attach a light to it. It's gonna need a little TLC, nothing major. It needs to go on the range. I'll I'll tell you one thing: whoever had it before me, they never used it. It it's clean. And that's the problem. I, you'd be surprised what you find at Dunkel Burgers. You know, some people again they buy they buy a gun, they change their mind, their loss, my joy. You know. So don't forget to visit Dunkel Burgers if you're in town, and you might pick up something nice like this.